um, I'll turn it over to my brother, Carlos Ortega, the chief curator at the museum, to talk a little bit about the ag history in Ventura County, especially this beautiful location that we're in. I'm going to turn the sound up a little bit. Thank you so much. We are here gathering today at the Garden of Eden. I want you to imagine a gloomy day of November 1793. The, the mission had been founded 11 years ago, and you have been traveling along the Pacific Northwest Coast for three years, documenting and mapping the coastline. You have already visited seven of the 13 missions along the coastline, and you go to San Buenaventura. You walked to the mission. You were welcomed by Padre Vicente de Santa Maria, and he shows you the mission, he shows you the gardens, and he shows you the mission orchard right here. This was the experience of British Captain Lieutenant George Vancouver, and in his diaries, he wrote the following. The Garden of Buenaventura far exceeded anything of that description I had before met within these regions, both in respect of the quality, quantity, and variety of its excellent productions not only indigenous to the country, but appertaining to the temperate as well as torrid zone, not one species have, it, have been, having yet been shown or planted that had not flourished and yielded its fruit in abundance and of excellent quality. Captain Vancouver was amazed by the variety of fruit trees right here in this field there were uh, planted apples, pears, plums, figs, oranges, grapes, peaches, and pomegranates. He, there were also plantain, uh, bananas, coconut, sugar, sugar cane, indigo, and a wide variety of chicken herbs, plants, and roots. He noted all these were flourishing in the greatest health and perfection, though separated from the seaside only by two or three fields of corn that were cultivated within a few yards of the surf. By 1829, uh, there was a fine fountain, which we have a replica from it in the, at the museum. Uh, it was built here in the Mission Orchard, there was also an irrigation system that included an aqueduct and other structures that helped the gardens flourish. And the, the orchard was enclosed by an adobe wall. The orchard flourished for about 50 years. Then the Mexican govern, government, through the secularization, slowly these gardens were sold in different lots to different owners. And um, so to the point that we are here today. So as we enjoy this wonderful meal, let us remember the rich history of the Mission Orchard and how it laid the foundation for Ventura County's vibrant agricultural industry. From the Chumash people who are the stewards and first cultivated this land, to the local farmers who bring food to our tables, to the dedicated, to the dedicated farm workers, we honor their legacy. And tonight, as we dine under <laughs> the stars that are not here yet, <laughs> we celebrate the contributions of the many hardworking people, both past and present who have contributed to Venturas County's uh, remarkable agricultural legacy. Thank you, and uh, enjoy this fantastic dinner.
Thank you so much. Wasn't that beautiful?